Welcome to Problem Solving Skills for National 5 Biology. This video is going to focus in on cell size calculations. In this video, I'm going to cover two skills. The first of which is being able to convert between micrometers and millimetres. Now, micrometers can be represented by the symbol mu m or written in full as micrometers. The SQA usually writes it out in full, so don't worry about that symbol. The second skill is being able to take information from a question and use that to calculate the average diameter of individual cells. And I'll tell you which pieces of information you need to pull out of the question to get the correct answer. Right, before we get into the actual skills, let's talk about where you're most likely to meet these sorts of questions. Now, problem solving is going to be all the way through your National 5 exam, but these are going to be included in questions based on Unit 1, Cell Biology, Key Area 1, Cell Structure. So for National 5 Biology, you need to learn about four different types of cells, and there they are. Now, these questions are based on the fact that cells are so small, we need a microscope to look at them in any detail. When you look down a microscope, you will see a circular image of your specimen. The proper name for that circular view is your field of view, and it will look something like this. So these are cheek cells underneath the microscope. So these questions are really interested in the diameter of your field of view, and you'll be given that information either in a diagram or in your paragraph. And just to remind you, the diameter is a straight line from side to side through the centre of a circle. And that could be given to you in either millimetres or micrometres. Right, let's get started on that first skill. So let's discuss how to convert between millimetres and micrometres. Now, micrometres is the normal unit used for measuring the size of cells. And it's just because they're so small, but they can be given to you in millimetres. Now, millimetres and micrometres have a really nice, neat relationship. One millimetre is equal to 1,000 micrometres, and you will be told that in the stem of the question. So don't worry about remembering that. What I want you to remember are these handy hints. If you are given a measurement in millimetres and you're asked to convert to micrometres, you multiply by 1,000. If you are given a measurement in micrometres and you're asked to convert into millimetres, you would divide by 1,000. What I want you to do is I'm going to read through the example, I want you to pause the video and I want you to try and have a go at it. So when I'm reading through these questions, I want you to remember that one millimetre is equal to 1,000 micrometres. So number one, an animal cell has a diameter of 0 0.056 millimetres. What is its diameter in micrometres? Right, pause and have a go. Now let's see how you got on. So according to our helpful hint on the slide before, if you have millimetres and you want to convert into micrometres, we multiply. So 0 0.056 times by 1,000, and that would give you 56 micrometers and remember you can write that in full or it's usually printed on the page for you okay time for number two plant cell was found to be 100 micrometers long what is its length in millimeters okay pause the video have a go right, let's see how you got on so we've got information where we're trying to convert between micrometers back to millimeters so instead of multiplying we divide this time so 100 divided by 1,000, and that gives you 0 0.1 millimetres. Okay, that's your first skill. Right, it's time to work on our second skill. So using our new ability to convert between micrometres and millimetres to actually calculate cell size. So here's our first example question, pretty typical question. So the diagram below shows some animal cells underneath the microscope. And you're told that one millimetre equals 1,000 micrometres, and there it is written in full. You're given a diagram this time, so here's your field of view. You've got some cells across the centre, and down at the bottom of the diagram, it tells you that the field of view is 150 micrometres. Uh, the diameter is 150 micrometres, and you're asked to calculate the average diameter of one animal cell, and that's worth one mark. Before we get into actually using the numbers for this question, let's look at the steps. And these steps are the same 
for all of these questions, regardless of what the actual figures are. So you are looking for two bits of information. The first bit of information is what is the diameter of your field of view? So you'll be given that in a diagram in this case, or perhaps in a paragraph. The second piece of information that you're interested in is how many cells are there across the centre of your field of view? So in this case, it's from the diagram, but you could be given it in a paragraph. And then when you have those two pieces of information, you divide your field of view diameter by the number of cells to get the correct answer. Right, let's have a look at this question using the numbers. The first piece of information that we are looking for is what is our field of view diameter? That's given down here. So if you were doing this and this was a test or homework or your actual exam, you could highlight this piece of information. So you are fully aware that your field of view is 150 micrometers long. Second piece of information is how many cells are there across the center of your field of view? I'm going to get this from the diagram and I'm going to count them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, you could highlight it, you could write it down. So you know that the number of cells across the center of your field of view is six. Part three is dividing your field of view diameter by your number of cells. In this case, that would give us 150 divided by 6, and that would give us 25, and our unit is micrometers, so that would be you for one mark. The other type of question you can get with um, this problem-solving skill is one like this. So instead of having a diagram, you have a little story. So this was from 2018, and it was section 2, question 1, part B. So the field of view of a light microscope measures two millimetres in diameter. 20 plant cells were counted in a line across the diameter. They tell you one millimetre equals 1,000 micrometres and they've asked you to calculate the average size of a cell in micrometres for one mark. So our first bit of information is what is our diameter of our field of view? And that's given here but it's given in millimetres. And in the question, they ask you to add, uh, calculate the average size in micrometres. So I'm going to convert that. <clears throat> and we're also told that one millimetre is 1,000 micrometres. So two millimetres is going to be 2,000 micrometres. That's my diameter of my field of view. My next bit of information is the number of cells that go across the centre of my field of view. We're told that as well. So we've got 20 plant cells. Next step, we're going to divide the field of view diameter by the number of cells, and that will give us the average size of a cell in micrometers. So field of view diameter divided by number of cells, that's 2000 divided by 20, and the number we come up with is 100. And then if you were doing this for real in your SQE exam, you would write that right next down to the unit, and that's worth one mark. Let's see what we covered in this video. So first skill that we did was converting between micrometers and millimetres, or millimetres and micrometres. Here is a relationship that you can use. So you will be told one millimetre is 1,000 micrometres. So to convert between micrometres to millimetres, it's one uh, multiply by 1,000. To convert micrometres to millimetres, it's dividing by 1,000. Then the second skill, is calculating cell size using information given to you. That can be in a diagram or in a wee story. Here are your steps. So what's the diameter of your field of view? Pick that bit of information out. How many cells are there across the centre of your field of view? Pick that little bit of information out. And then your third step to get your answer is to divide the field of view diameter by your number of cells and make sure that you're in the correct unit. Okay, bye.